This activity is a hands-on activity that can be done at various levels. You can also find such practice on Zern and iReady. For this activity, you will need the provided analog clocks, the hour and minute hand. Using the provided worksheet, match the hour and minute hand to the time listed. For example, it is 4.30. Locate that on your analog clock. So the student would take their analog clock, they locate their minute and their hour hand, and they would put it on 4.30. Like stated before, it is important the student locates the hour and minute hands. The next step is to know in what increments the time increases by. For example, the minute hand is at the 6, but it actually means 30. This is because each number is increased by 5. Unless it falls in between, then it will be represented as an increase of 1. So if you are trying to find 432, you would take the minute hand and move it two little lines over. And that would change the time from 430 to 432. Once the student has mastered using the analog clock with all of the numbers, try the next one over. This analog clock that is provided does not have any numbers, but it does have a fill in the blank space for the numbers. Have your students fill in the blanks and then proceed to find different varying times. The last analog clock that was provided was this one. It has no places for fill in the blanks. There are no numbers and there are no minute lines provided. Have your student find the numbers, where they belong, and the minute hands, and then once they have completed the analog clock, they could go about and find at different varying times on this analog clock. There are varying ways that you can make this lesson harder for your student or easier depending on where they fall. You can use clocks with Roman numerals in them. You can use digital clocks and have them convert it to an analog clock. You can give them the analog clock completed and give them a time, or not give them a time, show them a time and they would have to write it out in numbers to make sure that they are completely understanding the minute and the hour hands. That is the most trickiest situation that you will find for your student is remembering what the long hand is and what the small hand is. Another tricky situation is remembering the increments of 5, that each number, though it might state that it is a 1 or a 2, is an increment of 5, so it would be 5 or 10. Hopefully this video provided the information that you guys need in order to help your student at home and for me to be able to help them in the classroom. Thank you for your time and have a good night.